yesterday, uh, to verse 27 yesterday, but today we are going to take 28 to 34. Let's look at it. 28 to 34. Genesis 25, 28 to 34. Is there's one sound coming underground. Mm. Okay, the gen. Is there nothing you can do about it? Okay. Will it not affect our recording, our audio? Okay. Now let's go to that Genesis. Thank you. It's on screen. Now 25 verse 28 to 34. 28 to 34. 28 to 34. Thank you. Now look at this. The Bible says, And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rebekah loved Jacob. This one is not for today. This verse, I will reserve it. I told you there's a meeting I'm preparing to round up with all the couples for the end of the year. We're going to have a special meeting. All couples, I'm taking you to a level. All the married people in church. We're going to have a final end of the year prayer together to prepare our families for the coming year. So we'll use that one. Now let's go on. We're not yet true. We're not yet true. So there was division in their family already, but that's not for today. Uh, next, let's go on. We stop at verse 34. Next verse. Now, and Jacob so, uh, sold pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. He came, he was an hunter, he was hungry. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Esau, okay, and Jacob said, look at this, sell this day Thy birthright. Where did it come from? I will tell you as we go on. Sell thy by Give me food. He says, sell thy bat, thy, thy bat right. Move on. We stop at 34. Verse 32. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't have all the time. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. And what profit shall this bat right do to me? Verse 33. The other one was still bending. Say, hey, I'm not, I'm not going to give you food until you said. And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Verse 34. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and porridge of lentils, and he did eat and drink, drink, and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Now, today you know what we are going to look at. I want you to give me your attention. What we are going to look at is the mistake that uh, uh, destiny carriers usually make, especially every one of us that uh, we hear that there are great prophecies over our lives. Now this one mistake that most of us made or some are making up till now. People that understand that there are prophecies over their life that they have not seen come to pass. Let's not make the mistake of Jacob. Now let's go on. I want to read from here. Now and what is this that Jacob did? Look at this. The Bible says because of the prophecy that was on ground. You know there was a prophecy we saw yesterday that the younger one shall be greater than the four one that comes first. And the elder will serve the younger. And I believe that as he was coming up his mother because his mother loved him and his mother was the one that also had the prophecy. The mother must have been telling him that in prophecy it was said that you shall be greater than your brother because you came second. You shall be greater than your brother. That was what was said in prophecy. In prophecy, it was said, you shall be greater than your brother. In prophecy, it was said, it will be. You know, this thing has been, must have been told Esau, I mean Jacob, to the point that Jacob now thought, look up, if I take my brother's bat right, that is what will make me greater than him. Now, he believed that it is the right of his bat. Okay, Ogui, be it here, as first man, will make him first. So let me look for a way to take the right of his bat. Am I communicating? To take the right of his bat. And when I take the right of his bat, I know that for sure I shall be greater than him. So the opportunity came like we read. He prepared food. His brother came from the field. The brother said, I'm hungry. He said, see, if I'm going to give you out of this food, let's sell your bat right. Which means all that you are supposed to become as firstborn, sell it to me. Now, don't forget, prophecy did not say he will become firstborn. Prophecy only said he shall be greater than. Am I communicating? But he thought in his mind that, okay, I can't be greater than him if he has the bad right. So, he's, number one, he's told the bad right. Then number two, you know, he went further. No, he didn't stop there. He also went further to steal his brother's blessing. He pretended to be, when he had, the father was saying, uh, the mother had, the father was saying, I'm going to die very soon. Now, let me bless my firstborn, you know, 
and the mother went to tell him he now went pretended to be his first the firstborn gave the father food the father poured all the blessing upon him and with the two blessings bad right don't forget father's blessing and bad right bad right jacob thought that with these two things i am going to be what greater than my brother with these two things i shall be greater now i know what god told me when i was studying he said do you know that one of the reasons why several destiny carriers have not seen my hand at work in their life is because they are trying to help me now now what does it mean to try to help god just like i will show you the what happened to jacob we'll look at it just like jacob was thinking that if i use tie to take the bat right now every single time that you you resort to common sense when you were supposed to listen to divine sense you are trying to help god Every single time you decide to go through shortcuts, what in Imaga, Kilodeti Mitiga, Ewo, Esha Gen Tobo, anything to Bati were available, King Lega, you are trying to help God. This was what, 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 this was what J Jacob did that so many destiny carriers are still doing. Thinking that, ah, in fact, okay, God said, I'm going to pass a very big church. The church will be so large. Huh? And I've tried, 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 tried. This thing is not working. Now that, ah, and this prophecy is up, you know, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Some people, out of what do I do, they have gone to bargain with the devil to see whether prophecy will happen. Some, out of what do I do, what they are doing, they didn't bargain with the devil. Some decided to follow some worldly patterns. Let me tell your neighbor, don't try to help God. I didn't hear you. So Jacob thought that the bad right and the blessing of his father that he stole was what will make him greater than Esau. I wrote here. Hallelujah. He stole the bad right of his brother. And the blessing of his brother. When Jacob stole Esau's birthright, he did so as a way of trying to get his destiny fulfilled. When he stole his brother's blessing, he thought it was what he needed to be greater than his brother. But let's see if the, if the blessing of his father and the birthright he stole made him greater than his brother. Genesis 32 from verse 13. To verse 16. Let's look at Genesis 32. Everybody rush down there. Genesis 32. Look at, I want you to follow this reading very, very well. From verse 13. From verse 13. I had to jump it because of time. Genesis 32 from verse 13. Now let's look up clearly. And he lodged there that same night and took of that which came to his hand as a what? As a present for Esau. This was after 21 years of running away from home, after 21 years of running away from home, now what do I do? What do I do? Show me that scripture. Scripture learning, not my face now. The Bible says he gathered present together from what he owned. Next verse. Next verse. 200 she goats, goats and 20 he goats, 200 aries and 20 rams. Look at, follow the reading. 30 mil, milk camel with their colts, 40 kin and 10 bulls, 20 she asses and 10 fowls. Next verse. And he delivered them into the hand of every servant, every drove by themselves, and said unto his servant, Pass over before me and put a space between drove and drove. Let's keep moving on. Let's keep moving on. Next verse. Next verse. And he commanded the, uh, the foremost, saying, When Esau my brother meets thee, and asks thee, saying, Who art thou? And whither goeth thou? And whose are these before thee? What should you answer? Next verse. We stop. Then we jump again. Yes. Then thou shalt say, They be thy servants, Jacob. It is a present sent unto my lord Esau and behold he is behind us wait for me again now look at the number of things he gathered 
in order to appease his brother. He said, be going ahead though, with all these gifts. So that if I see my brother at least, but yeah, I know it's early. You see me be moji ogun ibiye mo de tunji ibuku baba mi to yeki baba mi fun e mini moji ba. Now jump to verse chapter thirty three from verse ten, eh, from verse one. Sorry, we we'll take one to ten. Chapter thirty three from verse one to verse ten. And Jacob lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, Esau came, and with him how many? You are not talking now. Are you sure you are here? With with how many? Four hundred men, and he divided the children unto Leah, and unto Rachel, and unto two two, two aunts made. When he looked up and saw that he that Esau was coming, and I don't know how he counted it, four hundred men were coming with him. The Bible says he distributed his family into groups. And now move to the next verse. Move to the next verse, and he put the handmaids and their children foremost and Leah and her children after and Rachel and Joseph hindermost. Move on. Move on. Shagada verse 3. Verse 3. I'm waiting for you. And he passed over before them and bowed himself to the ground seven times until he came near to his brother. Verse 4. And Esau ran to meet him and embraced him and fell on his neck and kissed him and they wept. And he lifted up his eyes and saw the women and the children and said, Who are those with thee? And he said, The children which God had graciously given thy servants. Then the handmaids came near, they and their children. And they bowed themselves. Verse 7. And Leah also with her children came near and bowed themselves. And after came Joseph, Leah and Rachel. And they bowed themselves. Yes. Verse 8. Verse 8. And he said, What meanest thou by all this truth which I met? And he said, These are to find grace in the sight of my... But look at his response in verse 9. And Esau said, I have enough. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Excuse me, let me ask you a question. Hold on with that scripture. Leave it on screen. With this statement and the way Jacob appeared, was he greater than his brother? No, answer me. You didn't talk now. Was he greater than his brother? Now, imagine you are bringing, for instance, you are bringing a gift to somebody that, something you call a gift. And, and, uh, the person you are bringing the gift to say, I don't need your gift. And to you, you are seeing it as a gift. And the person says, I, I, I have enough. And you are, you know, you'll be looking at the gifts that I package. You know, some of you know how you package gifts. That, ah, ah, this gift, I know how much I save. To, to, and the person says, I have enough. It means that the person, your gift does not mean anything to him. Which the father's blessing is told. And the bad right he stole, when, when he met Esau, he was still not greater than Esau. Which means, you can't help God. Oh, will tell you tomorrow, steps that you will take. But by the time Jacob came, all the blessing is stole. The bad right is stole. Look at, and Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep that thou hast unto thyself. I have enough. I, at least I've been privileged to give gifts in life. I've given gifts to poor people. I've given gifts to average people. I've given gifts to people of my level. And I have given gifts to fathers. I remember when I visited Bishop Oedeko's house, I wrote a check. That check to me was a marvelous check. I'm telling you, was it 2009 or 19? One of the two, I can't remember again. Maybe it's 2019. Do you know that up till this morning, he has not cashed it? Infliki is looking back here. Ah, ah. Now, that check eh, to me is ah. 
by the time I drop this check, this man will prophesy. He collected it from my hand. Where we sat, he opened it and saw it and put it back inside the envelope. But since 2019, till now, that check has not been presented. If he doesn't have enough, he can't forget it. Ah, I, I know how I used to look for a job. I want come for me check. Me tell my bitty muscles. Eh, she bed you. Eh, but me two bed is okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, my shit chair. So you get a body gone. My penny a pada. Eh, your mama binu. Check them at here for me. Me my bitty muscles. You can't help God. All those things you are doing, trying to help God, why not stop it? All those corners you, corners you are cutting. Because you are trying to help God, you are, no longer, you are no longer connected, you are no longer consistent with your commitment, with your time for God again. Because you are trying to help God. Some of you no longer have time for fellowship again. Eh, I'm in a meeting, I'm in a meeting, and the excess of the meeting is not even showing. Me, I thought by the time he will meet Esau, after 22 years, eh, Esau will be licking his feet. So say, ah, 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 I can see that that thing you stole. Now, can you now understand the reason why when Jacob met the angel, he did not allow the angel to go? That I won't let you go unless you bless me. Because I've discovered that the thing I have that I thought is the blessing, oh, go, go, go. can you now see why he, he prayed that aquology prayer? And the Bible said the angel touches the socket. I'm a bad one. She looks out there. You are doing a fairly day. She looks out there. The angel touched the socket of his joint. The thing removed. Jacob said, Nibu, or dear she, you know, go go anywhere, sir. Which means, sir, with the brother's back right, he stole. His name didn't change from Jacob. The father's blessing he stole. His name didn't change from Jacob. It was when he met the angel that his name changed from Jacob to Israel. Stop trying to help God. Whatsoever is affecting your personal time with God and your commitment to God in church is you trying to help God. And God said, I should let you know that such things doesn't change our life. There are so many things God told me to stop when I was coming towards the second half of this year. That's one, don't do this one. They are not sinful things, so, but they are things that me myself created as my only two little source of income. And God, so you don't need this one. You don't stop all these things now and concentrate on what I have called you to do. And I told my wife, I said, God said I should stop this one and this one, and I should concentrate more. I'm tired. I'm only fucking tired. If you see me pray, when I was praying this way, I told God. Lord, I'm exhausted. And Esau said, I have enough. My brother, keep that thou hast unto thyself. Verse 10. We'll stop at verse 10. And Jacob said, Nay. He started begging. I pray thee, Joe. If now I have found grace in thy sight. Then receive my present at my hand. For therefore I have seen my, thy face. As though I have seen the face of God. Look at Jacob. With the father's blessing he stole. And thou was pleased with me. Joel.
It's wrong for you to try to help God. God doesn't need help. You know, that was what Uzzah was trying to do. The Ark of Covenant wants to fall down. He forgot that there is a law. There's, there's about 120 feet far from the Ark. You mustn't come close if you're not a member of the, the priesthood uh, family. But he said, The Bible says, Fire struck. Bah! Came from here. He died instantly. He was very normal. Let me continue with my reading. The father's blessing is told, and the bat right did not make him greater than Esau. No wonder he held on to the angel for the real blessing. I want this teaching tonight to provoke somebody to go back home. When you get home, go and cry to the Lord. I am tired of trying to make myself. Father, make me. I'll be preaching in the convention on Monday at Reverend Wally Downs' church. And they told me to speak on a team on seizing blessing. And God started to show me the source. Let me give you one encounter. I had with God. You know, in my in our compound at Elebu, we have plastered everywhere except the the compound where people park. But well, that will be a project to end the year. We, we run. We, there is this particular tree. Uh, do, what do, do we we can call it tree, sha? It grows almost everywhere. So I was now saying we have floor all the place. What are you doing on the wall? So I drew it. I drew it out. As I was drawing it, it was coming. It was coming. It was coming. Do you know that the root that came from the ground was almost the height of the one outside? And God said, look at it, son. You floy the ground. Its roots, as long as it still has water, cannot die. You don't copy a man whose covenants back up, you don't know. That's why we keep the power and your Monday. Tune to our network. Our media team will follow me. Okay, got full message. Jacob thought it was by stealing birthright. He thought it was by stealing the father's blessing. She wrote to Umpa to Fin Jam. She quit to any. She quit to any. She quit That's why in this service today, you must open up to God. Do you know that 400 men? Where the bodyguard, officer, a man whose bat right they stole, a man whose blessing was stolen, 400 men followed him. They gave him because if it's some of you they stole your, somebody tell you that somebody has stolen your bat right, you will end your life there. He moved on without the bat right. He moved on without the blessing that was stolen. You are still thinking of wanting something that you have lost three years ago. If my daddy had sent me to school 13 years ago, if my daddy had sent me to school 13 years, you are still there. If my, if my. Let's be true with this reading. Listen, no wonder he had. He, he held on to the angel for the real blessing. Shortcuts won't make you great or fulfill purpose. Stop following it. Stop thinking that by trying to help God, you will enter into the realm of fulfillment. Stop it. 
Jacob tried it. It didn't work. On Sunday, I will talk about him in the house of Liban. Tomorrow, we are going to look at him at the place of Bethel, at Bethel land. That's what we'll look at tomorrow. And I will show you some covenants. Can I tell you this truth? Psalm 127 verse 1 and 2 shows us something. Let's look at it. Psalm 127. Verse 1 and 2. Lega da basata yadabaske. Except the Lord build the house. She labels when he they labor in vain that build it. You must never allow anything or anyone to take from you your time with God because God is the builder. In vain. Sorry, where am I? Except the Lord keep the city. The watchman, wicked, but in vain. You know, I took time to study some of our fathers in ministry. Ah, I don't want to tell you all these things that I need to say somewhere. And I discovered that, see, it is not their labor alone that is working for them. That's why this, this month, I want to drive you to a point where, see, people will see some good things happening in your life physically that the, that the source of it is not physical. That was where Jacob missed it. But in Basoro, Lurie, Kiwono, Lake Keko, you won't have to match it Jacob. Eja Pari, verse 2, verse 2. Last scripture, Tamakani, Kato won't have he says, it is in vain for you to rise up early. To sit up late. Eventually to what? Eat the bread of sorrow. Imagine. 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 May you not know what they call unje can. You know what they call bread of sorrow? It is what is available, not what is desired. I was going, I don't know where I was coming from. I was driving through Oje Market and I saw, do you know that I discovered now that they have started selling yams according to cuts, not even in tubas again. Ah! Oh, okay, what's it going? Once he, once he slides, he should see Jesu. Unje kanu. Can you need issue with me? So in Tuli afford in here. I was coming through a legendary road, driving. I saw that they are, they are now selling cow bone. The pieces cow bone. Gather it together in groups. Ah! Ha! Sir? I didn't hear you. I will never be broke. Ah! I will teach you some things. On some. Church, in fact, don't miss that of tomorrow. I will teach you some things tomorrow. How Joseph began, to, I mean, uh, Jacob started getting it right. Can I tell you this truth? The journey to fulfill destiny is neither by power nor by might. Do you know another one I saw? I was shocked. I saw that they are putting spaghetti inside black lilo now. I, I didn't know I thought spaghetti is always in the sealed. They now pack spaghetti in different kind of black line and put it in group, in group. Ah. Sir? Ah. 
Aha. Then what is the essence of waking up early and sleeping late? You know what Jacob was thinking? By the time I will see Esau with my gift, he will be appeased. Look at how he was counting it. 200 she asses. But he was shocked when Esau was coming with 400 men. Ah! please don't miss tomorrow but tonight let's pray there's no time let's round up like this the only thing God says I should come and tell you today is that please stop trying to help him and I've told you how to help God whenever you are passing going to courts do you know that there are people now they spend their tithes one is the the one the main the main one is not enough. Let's add our what, but still their life is not better. And still the church is not even feeling it. Church is still progressing. It was from Mama, Mommy Faith. Oh, I learned this about fifteen years ago. She said when she she attended winners, she was not married to the bishop then. She said she was a sister attending the fellowship. And they said they wanted to build children's church. And she said, I won't give anything. Ah, every time they are raising seed, raising offering, I've been given. But this one, I will not give anything. She said she was shocked. They raised it on Sunday. And by the following Sunday, they came up to say, Praise the Lord. The money needed to build the children's church is complete. The project is going to start. She said she now asked herself, Without my money, project continue. Ah, Lord, have mercy. That's why from it was from that time I made up my mind. I'm telling you something many years ago that no matter even if they want to do one billion, one billion naira project, if I have ten thousand, I will put it down. I will make sure my money finds my find a way into it. Because with or without my money, God will do his work. Jacobs, today I want us to pray. So Lord, please forgive me. In all the ways I have tried to help you in my own life. Brother, why are you not in church and busy? It's not that you're underpaid, somebody's paid employment, too. it's your own job. Oh. But still, with all this, I'm busy. I don't have time. I, why are you not in choir? I'm busy with all. It's not that you are you have gone beyond this all. Why not make up your mind? Let's be on our feet. Except only for those of, those of you carrying babies, please don't worry, sit down. I understand. You need your mouth to pray, not your leg. Oh Lord, have mercy on me. In all the way I have tried to help you in my life, shall we begin to pray for ourselves? Begin to ask for mercy. Keyboardies, you'll be praying this song for me. I have made you too small in my eyes. Oh God, forgive me. And I have believed in a lie. I believed in a lie that you, Lord, are unable to help me but now oh God I see my wrong hold my hands and show yourself strong ah and in my heart and with my song Oh Lord, be magnified. I've missed it somewhere. Oh Lord, be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. 
Yes, Lord, be magnified, O Lord. Third, Lord, you are highly exalted. And there is nothing you can't do. Shagada basene. Oh Lord, my eyes are on you. Be magnified. Oh Lord, be magnified. Begin to ask for mercy. Say, Lord, I ask for your mercy in every way. In every way, I have tried helping you concerning my life. Lord, I ask for mercy. Begin to ask for mercy. Begin to ask for mercy. In every way, I have taken over your own job in my life. And I have begun to do the job of God in my life. Lord, I ask for your mercy. Begin to ask for his mercy right now. Are you praying for yourself? Begin to ask for the mercy of the Lord right now. Begin to ask for the mercy of the Lord right now. Begin to ask for the mercy of the Lord right now. Lord, have mercy on me. Mercy on me, Lord. Mercy on me, Lord. Ask for mercy. In all the ways I've gone through shortcuts. Now, those of you that have gone through shortcuts, sinful cuts, begin to ask for mercy now. Those of you that no longer have time for the things of God because you are looking for money, begin to ask for mercy now. You no longer have time for personal devotion. You no longer study the Bible again. You no longer pray. Begin to ask for the mercy of the Lord. Father, Lord, have mercy on me in all the ways that have become like Joseph. I mean, like Jacob. In all the ways I have stolen bad right. In all the ways, oh God, I have stolen Jesus' blessing. Father, have mercy on me. Begin to ask for his mercy. Begin to ask for his mercy. Begin to ask for his mercy. Now, as you are running on, begin to say, oh God. Say after me, oh God, I am tired. I surrender. Please take over in my life. Open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. Lord, I am exhausted. Please take over in my life in the name of Jesus. Begin to ask. Begin to tell the Lord to take over right now. Take over in my life. My Father, take over in my life. King of Kings, take over in my life. Rekadabas, lenge the boat. The Bible says, "Not unto him that that runneth, not unto him that willeth, but unto God that showeth mercy." Oh God, please take over in my life. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Rekadababas, lenge the boat. Shakaya rabas, la kada 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 kada. Basata ya kada baskene. Rekadabas anda yara. Rakadabas ene. Father, take over in my life. 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 Lord, take over. I have. Hand over, oh God. I hand over, oh God. I stop being God over my life. I stop being God over my family. I stop being God over this ministry. Father, Lord, come and take over. Take charge. Take over, oh God. Are you praying for yourself? Lord, I surrender to your will. I surrender to your will. Lord, I surrender to your will. Lord, I surrender to your will. Lord, I surrender to your will. Take over. Take charge in my life. Rakada base basata yagada baskenere ranka yaramasene shaga come and help me lord father come and help me lord father come and help tell the lord ah shagada baskene rakada basata yaraske lenge de bose yes yes lord yes lord ah on to jesus i surrender on to him i freely give i will ever Love and trust him in his presence daily. I surrender, Lord. I surrender. Surrender everything to him. Shagada Basin. Let me hear your voice. I surrender. All. I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed 
I surrender. Begin to tell him, Lord, I surrender to you. Take over in my life. Lord, take over in my life. We have one minute more. Lord, take over in my life. Lord, take over in my life. Shagada barabaskinere. Bayagada bada 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 bose. Basakada baskinere boskinere bos. Shankada bada 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 bas. Basata yanga da baskende le masende, ringa da bada 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 bas. Basata yanga da. Are you talking to the Lord? Say, Lord, I surrender. Lord, I surrender. I hands off. Lord, take over. Lord, take over. Shangada barabas, yenge de bos, sandaya da baske. Ah. You are my strength when I was weak. You are my help me. All in all. Let me hear your voice, choir. You, yes, Shagada Barabas Kendelis Balagada Babas Kendele. Yes, Lord, am I all in Jesus, 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 Lamb of God. Is your name Jesus? Jesus, Lamb of God, worthy is your name. See after me, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, thank you. For dying on the cross for me thank you for giving me access to the Holy Spirit now say after me Holy Spirit I stop being myself counselor from now Holy Spirit let your vision your instruction be so clear to me from today show me what to do in order to have the victory I need in every situation may your voice not be hidden from me give me the direction holy spirit that will make me fulfill destiny thank you holy spirit in jesus name we have prayed begin to thank the lord for victory right now